everyone, it's Alyssa the Simmer and welcome to my channel. Today I am doing a collab with The Plum Dot here on YouTube and she makes amazing Sims videos. The reason this video is called One Floor Plan Two Games is because The Plum Dot only plays Sims 3 on her channel and that was really different for me when I first seen her channel and started watching her because it's hard for me to watch older versions of the game like watching Sims 2 videos or watching Sims 3 just because it's not as similar as to The Sims 4 and I'm more used to The Sims 4 now. But when I started watching The Plum Dot, her videos are very special. Um, she makes The Sims 3 amazingly fun looking and I haven't played it in such a long time so I forget how everything works. But she's so good at playing it and the way she builds in it is amazing and her voiceovers are incredible and it's enjoyable for me to watch even though they're Sims 3 videos. So it's amazing. I love watching her videos because she is super entertaining and super funny. But um, her builds and her videos are super cool even though they're Sims 3 which surprised me when I first started watching her. Um, just like I said because it's hard for me to watch older versions of the game. But um, her videos are amazing. So that's why you need to go check her out after you are done with this video. I'm sorry that I haven't explained the um, collab yet, but this collab is a crossover, obviously, because she is doing Sims 3 on her channel and I'm doing Sims 4 on my channel. Um, basically, we are taking a picture of a floor plan. I will s put the picture on the screen right now. And we are using the floor plan as our guide. We are not supposed to go out of the floor plan. And then the exterior can be anything we want it to be only the floor plan has to stay the same and um it's interesting and it's modern themed so it's interesting to see whatever she comes up with i don't know what she has done and my house kind of reminds me of florida just a bit like a florida house i don't know why but um it kind of does and it's super modern it's very hard going by a floor plan and then adding like adding structure to the outside um than like just building a regular picture of an outside house. It's a lot harder to do the floor plan first and then do the exterior. Like I've done some collabs where I've just made the outside of a real life house uh, like the exterior but not the inside and just made up my own layout and it's super easier to do that than to do this which um, the Plum Dot was kind of telling me um, after she had started on her house, she was like, yeah, that's a lot harder than I expected it to be. But, um, yeah, I really like the way this house turned out. I actually would like live in it. Some of the houses I build, I would not necessarily put my Sims in, but this one, I love the layout and, um, I love the floor plan we picked just because it is super open and um, it is only a one bedroom. Originally, we were going to do a bigger house, but um, it, we ran into a lot of problems with doing a bigger house just because a bigger floor plan was very hard. I don't know, but I'm glad we done a smaller house because this was as hard. It was, this was already super hard to do. But it was a lot easier doing a smaller house. And I like smaller builds anyway just because larger builds can get kind of complicated and kind of annoying after a while. You're like, why did I start this really big build for? Eventually, I would love to make a big mansion. But that would be a huge video. So I'd have to split it up into so many parts. But if you want that, you should comment below and be like, Alyssa, make a mansion, please. Because I will. Because I really want to. But it's just going to take a very long while. Because you have to fill it with so much stuff. Okay. Um, you see the video skip because I lost the footage of me furnishing a bit of the house. And so you are seeing that now, I think. Maybe, possibly, I don't know. Um, I done this a lot of different parts just because I was busy when I was doing this um, build. So I couldn't sit down and do the whole build at once. I done it in parts. So that's why you're going to see the video skip a little bit. I love the backyard, which you are seeing me work on right now. The backyard is so amazing. I love the pool. I love the little seating area. Like I said, I just really like this house and it gives me like a... Um, tropical home kind of vibe instead of 
just a neighbor, a normal suburban house. It gives me more of a, you know, this is a beach house or a house in Florida. But I am very glad that I was able to put a pool in here because I think it fits the space very well. And it really looks like it belongs with this house. The pool is like really cool in this house. And I was trying to figure out like how I wanted it to, to look and what ex extra things I wanted to add to it. And I just really love the way the backyard turned out. It's super amazing. I am really excited to see what um, the Plum Dot does on her channel. Um, I'm just super excited to see what house she came up with. And uh, I miss the Sims 3 building because you can change the colors of things. Like you had the color wheel and you could change the colors and make such a color scheme. That's one thing I miss and hate about the Sims 3 is, I mean the Sims 4. I miss... The color wolves from The Sims 3, but in The Sims 4, you don't get that much options with colors. Um, it's one of the things I hate. I'm just like, I wish there was more colors. Give me more colors, please. Thank you. If I had more colors, I wouldn't use black and white all the time. And black and white is the theme of this house. <laughs> I use a lot of black and white. A lot. And... Uh, you barely see any color in this house. And I just wanted to let you know that I kind of opted out. It's really easy to go for a black and white theme, especially in a modern house. Um, so that is kind of what I went for. I love it personally because black and white is just my style anyway. Um, especially black. I just wear black all the time. I love it. So it's very much my style, but it's kind of easier to do in The Sims 3. I mean, The Sims 4. I have The Sims 3 on my brain. <laughs> but it's easier to do in The Sims 4 because there's not much colors to play around with. And almost everything comes in black, which is amazing. I'm glad for. Like, if I find some kind of furniture that doesn't come in black, I'm like, I'm sad. Why isn't this in black? Um, But, yeah, in the layout, the kitchen was... Um, over here in this corner and I really like this open kitchen concept the kitchen didn't have a island in the middle but I felt like it needed one so I added one versus like what the layout had the floor plan um so I added the island in the middle and I love putting the sink in the island um I just think it works really well because you can be standing at the stove and then you turn around and wash your hands and I just like it I like that kind of style of kitchen and I never used that fruit bowl, but I ended up using it again. Um, I mean, using it for like the first or second time. Like I don't use that fruit bowl as much as I thought I would. Um, I feel like I've said that in another video. Also, this is the first long video since my comeback. Not my comeback, but since I took my break. Um, I took a little bit of a break, if no one knows. And uh, it was only a two-week break, but... It felt like a while, and when I came back, I'm like, how do I do voiceovers? So if I sound a little, like, rushed or weird, I'm sorry, but I'm I'm not used to doing long voiceovers like this anymore. Um, I'm probably going to get back into the swing of things, but it's it was very hard for me to do. Um, so you see me just uh, decorating the kitchen and working on the dining room with more black and white, obviously. Um, and I just adding a bunch of flair. Also, I got to use the brand new couches that came with the free update. Um, all updates are free. What am I talking about? But the free furniture that came with the update, I am super excited for those because I really like them. Like those are just like a really casual couch that you can put with anything. And I was super excited when they were like, you have free stuff now with the update. And I'm like, yes, free stuff. Um, I think a lot of people was excited. Some of this stuff is weird, but I'm still grateful for it all. Um, and so back here, I ended up having more space than I thought I would. And I ended up putting a little study back there, like a little office area where they could have a bookcase and a uh, computer area with a desk. And then I'm going on for the bedroom. The bedroom is kind of smaller than I thought it would be. I don't know, like, I didn't add many elements into the bedroom as I would have liked, but I was able to get a chest of drawers in there, a vanity, and 
a couple of mirrors, I think. Um, but in the end, it turned out cute. And those lamps are just very amazing. I love those lamps so much. They are awesome. Um, and then the next clip you're going to see me go to is me um, putting all the wallpaper on and uh, just putting the paint on the place and stuff like that. Sorry, I paused. I th that was awkward. <laughs> But I think I'm going to come to a end and I'm just going to talk about a few new th exciting things that's happening on my channel. Um, well, my channel is going to stay the same. Basically, I still upload on Tuesdays and Fridays on this main channel. But if you didn't know, I actually have a second channel now. It is a pretty silly channel. It's just me gaming, playing a bunch of random different games um, that I enjoy other than The Sims. I wanted to keep my Sims channel a Sims channel, and that channel is called my gaming channel, where I just play a bunch of random other games. Um, and also, I have the Simmer vs. Simmer channel, which is the collab channel I am a part of, where we make sims based on a theme for a week and at the end we all vote to see who can who made the best sim for that theme like basically like a girly theme we would all take turns making girly sims and then at the end of the week we all vote for which sim but i love that channel and um the video is basically coming to an end we are in the screenshots now i hope you like them um, but yeah, a lot of exciting things. I also have a Twitter if you want to come over and follow me. Um, I try to be very active over there and talk about a lot of sim stuff and just be silly. But I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching and thank you for sticking around while I had my break. You guys are amazing. Be sure to head over and check out the Plum Dot because her videos are amazing. I'm saying amazing a lot. Wow. Um, but make sure to see how she made her floor plan work on the outside and what kind of house she made. But I'm going to go now. Thank you so much for watching and bye-bye.